Hey, checking in. It's like 50 minutes later. Not under the covers anymore because it's not scary. Um, uh, let's see. Um, nothing to report. Um, I think within an hour, you know, if, if anything's going to happen, it's going to, um, you know, I think I read two to three hours is kind of the, um, sort of peaking with it kind of being able to last for six to eight hours and kind of what I've read, it kind of goes into about three different sort of phases. One being kind of like a, like euphoric phase and then kind of a tired phase and then kind of a sweaty, confused or, you know, hallucinogenic phase. Um, of sorts. Uh, anyway, I took a second helping, um, that was more than the first. So that's more than I've read to be recommended, but, uh, I think I would liken that to about, I've had about 10 milligrams worth of, um, well, tea, derived from 10 milligrams worth of, of dried mushroom. So, you know, that's supposed to do something. So, you know, if it doesn't, I can't really think of why it, it wouldn't. Um, other than I harvest mine here on the coast and, you know, um, sea level. And I've kind of read that in higher regions, there's different chemical properties that might affect things differently. I don't know. I definitely don't feel sick in any way. Um, and the tea was obviously really strong, strong flavor and everything. Um, I don't know. I do feel a little bit tired, but I don't think it's because of anything other than I'm already a little under the weather and I went hiking out in the rain earlier. Um, so whatever. I'll, I'll just check in if something happens.